everybody, Lisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Today, I thought I would talk about the um, 2019 Pantone color of the year. I know it's already September. <laughs> so um, I know, you know, it's a little late in the year. The Pantone color of the year has been out there for a while, but it was coral. And I finally found some Vera orange slash coral um, bags that I can really get behind. <laughs> now these, the style is the tie tote, which I've already done a couple of videos on because I just love it. Um, I'll try to put those links in the uh, video description for this video in case it, I miss anything or forget to talk about anything about the tie tote. I probably covered it in one of the other videos. <laughs> um, but I just thought I'd talk more, uh, probably more about the pattern than the bag itself, although I will go over the bag itself um, just briefly. I, I don't, oh, my tape measure's over there. Well, when I put the bag on, I'll go get my tape measure and I can do some quick measurements, but I do have measurements in some of the other videos. But this first uh, pattern is Hope Toile. Um, this, I write this down, is spring uh, 2006, and this was a breast cancer pattern. Um, I, I like toile fabric because it reminds me of um, my mother and also um, my aunt, who um, I had some of her dresses, probably they were from the 40s or the 50s, um, and one of them was this beautiful toile fabric, uh, a cream color background with the red uh, pastoral scenes on it. I don't know what happened to that dress. Um, I used to wear that all the time, loved it, very vintage, retro feel. Um, and, and my mom, did, who did, sew, did a lot of sewing, uh, she always had a bunch of toile uh, fabrics in her fabric, on her fabric, in her fabric cabinet. <laughs> um, and so when I think of toile, I do, I, I think I was very, I'm very, I had been anyway, very rigid about it. I had this very uh, specific vision of toile, which is that, it's just a two color uh, print, and one of those colors is white or cream. And then the other, then the, the pattern um, is in the color, or it's reversed, but usually the background is the cream color. Um, and so I, I was resistant to this pattern at first, although I do think it was, I always thought it was pretty, but I didn't think of it as a traditional toile because it's a two color, well, it's three with the, the, cr the cream in there. But, um, you know, because it's making use of that vibrant coral color background, I had trouble getting on board with it because it, it didn't seem so traditional, like a, like a true toile to me. And this is just, you know, an idea I have a toile in my head. You know, I don't know officially what, you know, what, what you know, a real like, French fabric maker <laughs> a producer might say a toile, you know, what constitutes a toile. But anyway, uh, I, I did when I, I would always would look at at this on eBay this pattern bags in this pattern um, and it sometimes it's hard to make out what's going out and get going on in the pattern and I finally realized there's a burden there and when I saw that I said oh, okay well then I was a goner after that had to had to seriously consider getting something in and this was a great price I think I was on Poshmark um, after I sold something. So I had a little bit of money in my account there. Um, it was a great deal. I mean, I think it was like $19 or something, and it's in great shape. I mean, it's, it's used. It didn't have tags, but it's in great shape. When I got it, the handles were a little grimy, but that came out in the wash. I mean, I was thinking, oh, God, I'm going to have to hand scrub them. But it, I just put it through the washing machine first, and it, it, they really perked up. So here is the bird. And when I saw that, with that long, beautiful long tail, uh, I just, you know, I, I just couldn't resist it. And so I started looking at things, but, you know, bags have straps, and sometimes you don't get the bird at all. Um, so, you know, I, I, I held off. I mean, it was a while in looking at stuff in this pattern before, you know, deciding on something. And here the bird on this side as well. 
And I really do like this color combination of this sort of hot pink. Um, and there are a couple of shades of pink in there, right? There's a lighter shade and a darker shade in there so that you're getting shading in the form. Um, so it's, it's, it's technically more than two colors in this pattern or three colors in this pattern, but um, I do uh, I do like that sort of rich hot pink. I, I've always found that, that pink appealing and I love it in combination with the orange. Um, and you get this nice trim up top. That's a great thing about the tie tote is that that you get you get that wide band of trim up top on both sides and on the inside, which I'll show. Um, and it's uninterrupted by any straps. So this is very, you know, oh, there's a bird too. I didn't even notice that. There's another bird. Well, I'm gonna have to look to see how many I got of those. <laughs> um, so it's a traditional, you know, it's definitely a, a traditional print, very pretty, very feminine type of print. Let's see if that bird, oh, there's another one of the other birds, not a full body. But I, here I'm sort of going on to the bottom is that other bird. Well, if I'd noticed that, I would have paid more attention and maybe tried to get a bag with both birds front and center more. <laughs> and you know, there's always, always another hunt. I can now justify looking for another Hope Toile item. Uh, oh, here. No, I don't have to. Phew. Save myself a little money. Here's, here's the, the other bird. One of those berries right there. I mean, it's really, the detail work here is just really lovely. So um, the tie toe gets its name because on each side has this pleat uh, crease and these ties, which you can untie. I can do that after I put the bag on. They don't, the ties are sewn on, but they are, you can untie them. I think the strap, I can't remember the strap drop off the top of my head. Again, it's probably in one of the other videos. Might be about nine or ten inches, so nice and short, like I like. It does have a hard, removable cardboard base that that slips out of like a sleeve in there, and you can remove that and wash it. And I have washed all my tie totes in the washing machine. And they've all come through fine, um, depending on the how grimy the bag feels. That uh, I'll alter my washing machine settings. I have used the heavy duty setting, a full length longer like over an hour setting uh, on some of the bags other ones I put through the gentle cycle because they don't seem to need as um, heavy a washing always cold water um, and I never oh and I do put in vinegar a half a cup of white vinegar distilled white vinegar um, along with my uh, detergent which is all all pods um, and again, no no dryer, um, air air dry. Depending on what the item is, I might put it in a garment bag, but I don't. Um, most of the time, I don't even bother doing that, and it's been fine. So, uh, and I I I I like the coral and orange colors with gray. I think that they really. Um, go well. The gray, especially a deep rich gray, really makes the coral and orange, the brighter, warmer colors pop well. This kind of gray, I think, I find is just a great background for many of the Vera Bradley bags, really makes them pop. So I like this higher um, strap drop. Oh, I can get my tape measure here. I'm sorry, Peaches. <laughs> my dog's on the floor. obstacle course of dogs on the floor. <laughs> so the strap drop here, yeah, about ten and a half. And the top opening, just real quick, but like I said, I do have the other videos about this bag. Just love this bag. It's about thirteen and a half opening. Top to bottom is about ten. And the base, about four and a half. 
So the top is just a magnetic snap closure. I'll show my stuff in there. And there is an interior zipper pocket though, and most of my wallets fit in there, so that gives me some security, you know, should I want it. I got a lot in there, and I'm using the slip pockets because my phone, I said this in my other video, one of my other videos about this, when I saw that my phone and my iPod slip perfectly in those tiny slip pockets, I was just so pleased. <laughs> um, anyway, so, and you can see, you get that trim on the inside too, that nice wide band of trim. So it's really nice finishing. You know, it's like a good, a well-made hem um, on a pair of pants or on a dress or something. Uh, it, it, just that attention to detail is very nice. And so I can show the inside construction of the bag with the other orange slash coral Pantone color of the year. You can come up, Peaches, if you want, um, bag that I have. And this is a pattern I just sort of recently became aware of. And uh, this is Sherbet um, from spring um, 2004. So that was Hope Toile's uh, 2006. This is 2004. I think of this as more orange. Um, I, I do feel like this is a real coral. So a real Pantone color of the year. This is more orange, but, you know, I feel like it. we could just sneak it in there <laughs> for the video. Uh, and I, I think what appealed to me, what drew me to this at first, was the um, fact that it's paisley but not super sweet. And I liked the trim. There's something about this, uh, oops, sorry, I'm knocking the camera. This um, paisley with that, uh, that it's not too sweet. Uh, sort of simplified uh, paisley. And in the, the body of the bag, you get this nice mix of, it's blowing out a little bit. Oh, that's a bit better. But this nice mix of the light pinks and a, a, a few shades of orange there. And it's really full. I mean, I feel like, again, as I often say, it seems like there's maybe an Indian kind of textile um, influence going on here if you've seen any of the textiles from India. Uh, but also what's so nice, what I like about this pattern is that you almost can't tell the pattern uh, the foreground from the background. It's all just mixing together. What's the background here? So I, I like that. I mean it can make something look very flat when you when that happens but here it's just all about the pattern and the color, so it doesn't matter. I just with all that detail work in, in here and behind here in these darker orange tones. I guess you could say this is maybe the background, but it's really yeah, it's a stretch. I feel like it's just, it's a great pattern. And you can see the signature up there in the band, the trim. So this bag, inside, um, has a, a zipper pocket that is sort of, you know, hanging. It's tacked in, at the, sewn in at the top, and then just sort of this hanging pouch. Um, it's a decent size. <laughs> Like I can have all my usual suspects in here, all my typical stuff, my iPad mini, my uh, GPS pouch, my charger cord pouch, um, tissues, whatever. Now this is a wallet, this is my wallet, all in one crossbody. And it does fit in here. So it's a chunkier wallet, but it fits and it zips up. And not all my wallets are that big. I have a bunch of wallets that are would slip in there much easier. But that, you know, when I saw that, that I could do that, that was nice. And then the other wall of the bag, again, has a like a hanging pouch, but they're slip pockets. Those are the two slip pockets there. And they are, you know, both of these uh, pockets 
are constructed of the quilted uh, cotton. So that's nice, gives the bag a little structure. I mean, they almost go down to the bottom of the bag, so when you put the bag down, they almost sort of hit the, you know, hit the surface that the bag is on, and that kind of gives the bag a little structure. Um, but I, I think the bag, you know, still would stand up because of the way it's constructed with this side seam. So you can untie this. There's a side seam here, and this fold is kind of tacked in here. You see, I can't really pull it flat. So that seaming there, especially because it's the quilted, sturdier quilted fabric, is going to give it some structure. So it's always going to sort of keep that itself upright, I think, because of that. So again, there's no grommets or anything to saw it work the, these ties through. They're just sewn on. They're sewn on here. And here, one more thing, just to show. I won't pull the cardboard out all the way. I don't know if it's necessary, but here you can see. This is the base, the base fabric of the bag, and it is a slip pocket, and the piece of cardboard slips out. And so obviously you just have to remember to remove that when you're washing. That's always a fear, right? That you're going to forget to take out the base and then you're going to have a big wad of pulp in your washing machine. Luckily I haven't had that happen yet. And so again, the, the zipper in here is the plastic zipper and the pull tie is the ribbon pull tie, which is nice. This one of these bags, it wasn't this one. I'm starting to notice on some of these um, bags, the vintage bags with the pull ties, sometimes the color of the thread that's used um, to create the, the signature logo on the ribbon coordinates nicely with the pattern. It's not always just white on the ribbon, and so that's not kind of neat when that happens. It's not, that, not, not on these two, but the next time it happens, I'll have to I'll call it out in a video. But anyway, just a quick one today because I did want to... I was excited when I realized, ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm in step with the Pantone color of the year. I'm very, very rarely in fashion. <laughs> and so this gives me an excuse to say, oh, I did something right. <laughs> but I just thought I would highlight these um, orange uh, bags because as I've said in other videos, I feel like orange is a tough kind of color. Uh, to work with, but when it's done right, it's really kind of luscious and tropical and just kind of juicy. <laughs> um, and it's a happy, I feel like it's a happy color. It reminds me of, um, every time I see orange and it's done well, there's this Pablo Neruda poem. I don't remember the title of it, but there's a line in it where he, it's a love poem, of course, and he, uh, he's telling his beloved that he loves her orange laughter. And uh, so that warm, warm, hot, uh, you know, but happy color. So anyway, uh, those are my Pantone 2019 Color of the Year Coral <laughs> um, bags of the day. Thanks so much for watching. And this again was uh, Sherbet and Hope Toile. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.